Or drives it in. Quick ball in towards Shawnee Casey. Shawnee Casey, and there's a chance here for, him, for, for John McNamara. John McNamara, and an early goal. What a start for Brawford. A goal in the first, first 15 seconds for Brawford. Throw things down, trying to get his team settled back into this. A good puck out from Waters. Out here towards the hillside of the field. Dropping right in the middle of the field. Comes to Damien Quinn. Damien Quinn. Great crossing ball by David O'Donoghue. Up in towards the corner, towards David Conroy and Paul O'Connell. O'Connell, a wily cornerback, gets it, drives up off his right hand side, out to the middle of the field. Comes there to the wing back. To the wing back is Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly up along the side to wing back for Brawford, his own Donlan. Donlan gone out over the line and it's a line ball. Gets a good cut up along by the side, up along the wing. Broke out by Kelly. Kelly started well for Tubber. Ball to Declan Teefee and a chop there and a free in for Declan Teefee. Lining up. The man with he strikes at Kitog. Lining up this one. He bends, he strikes, he lifts it, and Teefee drives it straight and through, and that's a great start for Teefee Pedder. To the far side of the field with this one. Strikes it, strikes it, just right and top in the, in the middle of the field with Diamond O'Brien. Blocked down by Diamond O'Brien. O'Brien, a member of the team that won last Sunday the minor. Out to Teefee. Teefee picking up good positions. And a strike from Teefee. That bad strike that time, gone to the right and gone wide. Pet. Paul Waters with the puck out. Right out, out here. Been blocked by Owen Donlan. Owen Donlan, gone to, gone to the centre forward, David Donohoe. Been flicked away by David by Kevin Cochran. Gone to Cyril Cunningham, the midfielder. Shot ball. That's out here to number five. It's Damien Quinn. Damien Quinn drops at the first attempt. Been, been robbed by Owen Donlan. Kevin Cochran, Wiley campaigner. The men of the under 21 management. Breaking off from the centre half back. Drops it out to, Don, to the centre field. Jack O'Brien. Jack, son of the, of the manager, John O'Brien. Comes out to Patrick O'Connor, the top of the centre back. Patrick O'Connor. Nice hurler, this fella. Good long ball. In towards, out comes Willie Hayes. Willie Hayes, oh Willie Hayes, Willie Hayes drops, drops that one. And his ball breaks to the corner forward for Tubber. It's David Fogarty, being hooked by, by Marco Donovan. Good play by Donovan. Comes out to Jack Dillon. Jack, left half back, comes out, gets the ball up in his hand. Drives the ball, great ball up. Towards Damon O'Brien, Damon O'Brien, the man who had a big influence, we said last Sunday in the minor air final against Wood Tones. O'Brien loses out this one, but the, his brother Jack is in to, in to back him up. Jack taking up the ball along the wing. Foul. Good foul and foul on Jack O'Brien. Foul there by Sel Cunningham. And a free for Brawford and Kieran Cochran right on the just outside the 70 yard line. The yard line. Breeze at his back. Lining up. Kieran strikes this one. Strikes it low in towards the goals. In towards Shawnee Casey. Shawnee Casey comes out. Or he breaks the Shawnee Casey. Waters clear inside the goals. Comes out. The ball was edited by Danny Scanlon. Out there, Paul Maloney. Paul Maloney fighting for it. He breaks to Cunningham. Cunningham comes down to a bit of a ball for good bit of ball for Tupper in the middle field. Strikes it off his left. Comes to his midfield partner, John Fall. John Fall blocked down. Comes to Cunningham to Fall again. He a, switches the play across to Nocton. Char Nocton in the left half back. Solders up along the side. Drops the ball in towards the square. In, uh, Willie Hayes comes out to this one. Willie a bit more assured this time. And Willie turns and drives off his right hand side. Comes out the middle of the field. Out to Dara Cochran. Dara loses out this one. Comes to Cyril Cunningham, takes a challenge from Dara Cochran. Cunningham hits a lovely low ball in towards the corner. Out comes that wily campaigner, Eamon Taff. Eamon Taff switches the ball to David O'Donoghue. A shot and a good save by Willie Hayes. A great save by Willie Hayes. But Tubber, five yards from the middle. Eamon steadies himself. Eamon strikes it, strikes it, and strikes it rather well. And gone straight over the bear. It's 1 1 for Bradford. Fine for Tubber and Tubber coming back into the game, Pedro. Yeah, they've had three attacks across each other inside the 20, the ball for 21 yard line. Um, two goal chances, they'll be disappointed that they didn't get one of them, but they have, they have themselves on the board. The puck out from Willie Hayes goes straight down the centre, caught by O'Connor. O'Connor comes out, gets the ball up towards the wing, Damien Quinn. Damien foraging out around the middle of the field and cle clears up into the inter of the corner, giving, giving David Fogarty a run. David Fogarty being Outpaced it's time by Jack Kelleher, the young feet of Jack Kelleher. And Eamon Taff tries with the but Kelleher being blocked down on the far side by Joey Curran. Give, the ball breaks to Eamon Taff. Eamon drops in around the square. And the full forward, the full forward has it. And uh, referee Wayne King has drawn for a square ball. And in fairness to the referee, he was up with play. Uh, Willie Hayes drives his free straight down the middle on top of Patrick O'Connor and Declan Teefee. Teefee, good handsome Teefee. Teefee passes out to Shawnee O'Casey. Shawnee loses, loses this one. Comes to the wing back, Nocton. Hits the ball up. 
up to the centre forward of Donohoe. Donohoe is robbed by Jack O'Brien. Jack O'Brien playing well, starting. Switches it to Dara Cochran. Dara Cochran drives it in towards the corner, in towards Danny Scanlon. Danny, the ex Clare Classen man. Being, being robbed there by Jerob Rohan. Jerob Rohan, ball breaks out there to Diarmuid O'Brien. Diarmuid gets it up in his hand. Diarmuid uh, turn, is turning off his, off his left. Comes in off the wing. Good shot, shot from Diarmuid O'Brien. But he's gone to the right and gone wide. And Diarmuid might have been better advised to hit that ball across. Paul Waters, Paul, quick puck out. Out here, out in the centre side, out in the hillside of the field, said David up to Paddy O'Connor. Paddy O'Connor, direct ball down on top of Taff. It's easy to see what my trouble. Oh, what a catch by him and Taff. And the hands are still. The hands are still as good as they were. A low ball in and a goal from him and Taff. And I tell you, Pat Mack, we spoke about this referee last Saturday giving the advantage. He gave a great advantage to him and Taff there. And the sides are level here after eight and a half minutes, one 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 apiece. And the ball comes to Cell Cullingham. And this man is beginning to have an influence in the middle of it. And a late pull. He was robbed by Jack O'Brien and he pulled back late Cell Cunningham and went. He rises it, strikes it off his right hand side, follows through. And that's a great score from Defin Keefe. Nine and a half minutes gone. He's brought for one goal and two points, Tubber one goal and one. And they were able to strike action. Strikes it right over here to the hillside of the field. Out there says he's looked for Damien Quinn and Owen Donlan. Quinn, or Donlan breaks it down. Ball breaks down to O'Brien. Damien O'Brien who's been far foraging out around the middle of the field now. Out it comes to Danny Scanlon. Danny who was one champion keeps him with the McPies in his play for Clare and Danny strikes up his right hand side. And that's a marvellous score from Danny Scanlon. And the score 1-3 for Brawford, 1-1 one, one for Tubber. Great score from Danny Scanlon showing his The puck out from Paul Waters, breaks left hand Cunningham, Cunningham and he's direct, every ball is going direct on and Taff, Taff is beaten for this one, beaten for this one by Mark Donovan, Donovan. Ball drop the far side and a push there by Jack Dillon, cute play there by Joey Corden, he knew the free was coming and he felt he played for it, ball in team. Aim and steadies himself. He bends, he strikes. And we shouldn't even, shouldn't even question the score for Aim and Taff with 1-3 for Brawford. 1-2 one, one, for Tubber and Willie Hayes. Willie, a good puck out. Out the wing, out the far side. Out towards Damon O'Brien. Been blocked there by, by John Fall. John Fall. He comes to Nocton. Shane Nocton. Sean Nocton. Sean trying to pull it up. Gets it up. But the ball breaks to O'Brien. O'Brien is hooked. O'Brien is hooked by David O'Donoghue. Out to Damien Quinn. Damien Quinn. And the ball breaks and he comes to that man Cunningham. And Cunningham is getting onto a good bit of ball for Tubber. Hits it down towards between Donovan and Eamon Taff. Eamon Taff. But Jack Kelleher comes across. Jack comes across and the comes right across and switch it, tries to switch the play. He comes there and it comes to that man. It's John Fall. Out to John to Joey Corn. Joey Corn been robbed by Jack Dillon. Jack Dillon hand passes to Owen Donlan. Donlan breaks the tackle, breaks the tackle. And Donlan gets a great ball up the corner. Up towards Shiny Casey. And it's that man Danny Scanlon. And Danny Scanlan and Jerry Brohan out. Brohan, uh, Brohan, good play by the pullback there. To Patrick O'Connor. This man is a good good centre back. Ball is robbed by Danny Scanlon. Danny and a free uh, pull from behind by Patrick O'Connor. Paddle a rather soft free. Gives Declan Teefee a chance. 40 yards out from the top of goal. Right over here on the hillside. 10 yards in from the sideline. Declan lined up this and struck the last one rather well. Steady and says, here he comes now, lining up this one. Just to give Brawford a two-point lead. Declan gets the ball up in the hurley. And like a golfer, he's a straight, straight and true. And Pat Mackey's good on the freeze. Indeed, gone, gone the other days where your Jonah B would be a, a real slogging match. This is a good, a good open hurling match. The ball fucked out by Waters. Well blocked down by, De by, by Dylan. Broke into Teefy. Teefy moving out and Ty lays on the ball. Great pass on Teefy into Damon O'Brien. Damon O'Brien picks up one handed. Damon O'Brien, this man is a good hurler. A shot from Damon O'Brien. A very good score for Brawford. Great play there. Good, te good, good team play there from Brawford. And Damon O'Brien used his pace to get away and off his left hand side, turn it over the bear. And you can see his father, the manager over on the far side, very happy with that one. And Paul Waters, here he comes again, very deliberate and slow, being, being advised by a man that we had three canals at the beginning of the match, Andrew Monaghan and Andrew Nook. Fuck out from Paul, Paul, please it out. He's aiming for Damien Quinn a lot of the game, being blocked by Donlan. Donlan out, that man, Damien O'Brien. 
Jack O'Brien comes into Jack O'Brien comes in there and the ball breaks and Donlan a tough man to get through gets up along and Donlan Donlan has played well, well at half back down towards Danny Scanlon and Brohan Danny a great catch from Danny Scanlon Danny tries to take on Brohan Danny using his experience great ball uh, what a pass from Danny Scanlon out to Declan Teefy Declan will be disappointed with that, with that effort out to Paul Waters he's been chased inside by Shawnee Casey Waters is half knocked down by Shawnee Casey should have done better Shawnee clear getting out now with, he, with him himself and Michael Kelly and the ball comes back to Danny Scanlon and Danny Scanlon over the bear and Pat Mack they'll have trouble have to get their clear the lines a lot quicker than that They broke out from Paul Waters, comes up to on Donlan and Donlan drives it straight down on top of Scanlon and Brohan again. Brohan out first in front, out this time. Ball breaks to John McNamara. John McNamara takes the challenge and Gerhard Brohan swings across him. And an easy free in for Brawford again. The runners are beginning to come through from the middle of the field and half hour next to the fourth team. Here comes Declan off his right hand side. And Declan, there's no, he, there was no mistake with that one. It's 16 minutes gone here in the first half. It's Brawford one goal and seven. Tubber one goal and two. Two men has been Jamie and Quinn. And he comes for Damien Quinn and Cyril Cunningham again. Cyril Cunningham and David O'Brien. Ball block gone past uh, Damien Quinn. Out towards Jack O'Brien. Jo Joey Curran. And this man, Donlan. Donlan started very well. Out and Kieran Cochran stands back in the pocket and delivers the bomb. And down between Ger Brohan and Denny Scanlon. And this is going to be a vital one. Brohan blocks it down, but Denny Scanlon is quick onto the break. Denny, a shot. And it's a goal for Brawford from Denny Scanlon and Pat Mack. Brawford tactic very evident and Denny Scanlon vital. Staff is brought for 2 7 and it's Tubber 1 2. And Paul Waters probably should have done better with that one. Gets a good puck out over onto the free side of the field. Being blocked down there by Sil, Sil Cunningham. Down to David, to David Fogarty. Fogarty going up along the wing, being chased by Jack Kelleher. Kicks it up along the wing. Ball comes to the other corner forward. David Conroy. Conroy, a big man. But he's gone out over the line, off the foot of David Conroy. And it's a line ball for Brawford. Right over, just under the scoreboard here. It's going to be taken by. Corner back, Paul O'Connell. Going to be taken by Paul O'Connell. Paul gets a good one, gets a couple, he breaks out straight out to O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue loses to Donlan. Donlan, Kieran Cochran, Jack Dillon, Owen Donlan trying to get clear out. Jack O'Brien in there. Jack O'Brien trying to come out, trying to come out with it. There's a right to muzzle right or 30 yards out. The ball breaks out. Comes out to Cyril Cunningham. Cyril tries to, gets up, no, tries to open up the play. Being blocked down by Damon O'Brien. Damon O'Brien. Out to Derek, Derek Cochran. Derek hits it off his left hand side. Out to blocked out with Jack Dillon. David Fogarty fight with it. Damon O'Brien. Damon who's foraging deeply around the left half back position out. Good low ball in towards Eamon Taff. Eamon Taff gets out and puts it to Marco Donovan. And Taff turns. And strikes off his right hand side and the ball has gone over the bar from Eamon Taff. 18 and a half minutes gone. Brought for 2 7. It's Tubber 1 3. And Eamon Taff, uh, Pat Mack going well but needs a supply of ball. Ball poked out from Willie Hayes, won by John Fall, and the ball breaks in, comes in towards Willie Hayes, and Willie, Willie strikes off his left. Willie up, the man who works in Shannon, up between Paul Maloney, Paul Maloney, and Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly, and it being held there by Paul Maloney, and a free right out in the, in the middle of the field, over on the far side of the field, just in from the side, and a free, and Eamon Taff. I think the capabilities of Eamon Taff to knock this one over. Eamon strikes it, drops it in, he's gone in, dropping around the square. It's been pulled in by Fogarty, the ball breaks out, Fogarty and, and Conroy pull him, but the ball is inside it, and Jack O'Brien, Jack, Jack clears it out the ring, Eamon Taff looking behind him, you see Dara Cochran coming behind him, and the ball, Dara Cochran done well there, as Eamon Taff, Eamon, the head was sending him out to go, but the, the, the legs weren't going as fast as they were of yore, and the ball comes Cunningham, 20 minutes gone here in the first half, 2-7 for Brawford, 1-3, good, good cut from Cunningham, being blocked out there, and it's that man O'Brien, and O'Brien, who's using his pace all around the middle of the field, gets it into Teefy. Teefy turns off his left and gets the ball in towards Dennis Kenlon. But Pat, Patrick O'Connor, Patrick back in the pocket, uh, back to centre back, clears the ball up along the wing. Up to David O'Donoghue, blocked down. Damien Quinn, but it breaks down to O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue out to Sean Nocton. Sean Nocton, who gives it back to O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue gone taken on his man. O'Donoghue gone through. Gone through. And, and gone up. He's gone all gone the whole way in. And that's gone to the left and gone wide. and. Heather McMahon after going the whole way in, a bad miss by David Dunho. The 
puck out from Willie Hayes as a sub. Gerald O'Connor is on there at wing back for Sean Nocton. And a great catch. Ball in towards Taft, being fouled by Jack Dillon. But he left out this ball off. There's a chance on for, for and a free in. And Eamon, here he comes. He lines up this free. Dead straight in front of the goal. This to put six points between the sides. 22 minutes gone. 22 minutes gone. It's 2 7 for Braff and 1 4 for, for, for Tubber. And Pat Mac, Tubber will be happy enough that they've kind of weathered the storm with a couple of goals and are back in the game. Broken out the field, and that's them. That sub that came on, Gerald O'Connor gets the ball to David Conroy. Conroy trying to find his men. Conroy and the ball is a Shamazlo over there on the far side. Mac, Dun Mac Donovan trying to win the ball with David Conroy. And the ball breaks out, and it's, it's Donovan coming out along right over on the far side. Being fouled, uh, a, a kind of a high pull there by Joey Curran. Here comes Kieran. Kieran trying to get the players to, to move. Here he comes. Drives up, drives up along the side on the far side line. Up towards Paul Maloney. Paul Maloney puts up his hand for it. It breaks down to John McNamara. John McNamara to De Deaf Man De Teepy. Teepy coming through and he offloads the ball. Offloads the ball to, to Paul Maloney and a great point from Paul Maloney. 23 and a half minutes gone. It's 2 8 for Bradford. Tubber 1 4. And Pether scores coming easier for Bradford. Here comes Paul. We've, we've double double scores here in Tulla. 24 minutes gone. Here comes Paul. He comes over here towards the centre side, looking for Damien Quinn, and comes towards, it comes to John Paul. John Paul gets it off in the middle of the field, being chased by Johnny Casey and Damon O'Brien. Charlton sees Griffin lets the ball up. Won by Paul Maloney. Paul got the last score, but Damien Quinn, who has gone from the left from from his own wing forward position, gone over. The ball breaks out to David Fogarty. Fogarty taking on his men, but loses it to this man. Is this man Donlan? Donlan, who has started to thunder into the game. Gets a great low ball in towards the corner, but gone back in the corner. It's Patrick O'Connor who's gone back into the. Or it is Dermot Tapp who took up the position. Jer Brohan and, and a foul there, a foul, a, a challenge there by J John McNamara. Comes Paul right on the 21 yard line with his free. Goes cross field. They are down the centre, down towards Joey Corn. Joey Corn lets it through, but Jack did, and Jack, Jack came a long way with that one. Coming up along, and he loses it, be chased by Joey. You should never, no, never give up a lost cause, and Corn. Gets on this ball, but loses again to Jack Dillon. Jack, Jack O'Brien, Jack O'Brien. And the ball won by Dara Cochran. Dara Cochran in towards the corner. Jer Rohan, he didn't get much time to recover from the injury, but Jer Rohan done well there and won that ball and strikes off his left side. Good clearance out towards Jer O'Connor in the middle of the field. Knocked down by Declan Teepy. And it comes to Patrick O'Connor. Patrick O'Connor out to Damien Quinn. Quinn, who is foraging and working very hard for Tubber. Short ball in towards O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue. I don't know who wins it off Jack Dillon and Jack Keller her there. I don't know who working working hard. Don't know who lets a high ball in towards Willie Hayes. In towards Willie Hayes. Good handsome Willie Hayes inside in the goals. And a good clearance comes out and clears. A great ball up along. Caught by Maloney. Maloney being blocked down by Fogarty, who's gone back out the field. Gerald Connor. Gerald Connor back to Fogarty and Fogarty. He's not going to mess around with it. Let's see in towards Eamon Teff. Eamon and a free a high pull there by Mac Donovan and Free from Eamon Taft with 27 and a half minutes gone over the bar to make the score. 2 8, two eight for uh, Bradford, 1 5 for Tubber. And a ball in, gone in around the square. Uh, and that's a, that's a great point from, from, from Johnny Casey. Direct from the book out from Willie, from Willie Hayes, broken by Dick and TP. Johnny, Johnny Casey picked up the breaking ball and now makes the score. 2 9 for Bradford, 1 5 for Tubber. Book out from Paul Waters, out around the middle of the field. Fished across by Dunahoe, across towards Damien Quinn. Or is it Dunahoe? Dunahoe comes straight through, getting a low high ball in towards it, and the ball breaks inside. But Hayes, Hayes is fast off his line and clears that ball up the wing. Out into wing forward position, caught by John Fall. John Fall, so on through. John gets a, gets a bit of space, and John strikes up his right hand side, but he's gone a bad miss on John Fall and gone to the left and gone wide. Coming up to 28 minutes, 28 and a half minutes in, in the first half. Willie Hayes at the book out. 2 9 for Braw for 1 5 for Tubber. Goes down from Eamon for Paul Maloney and David Fogarty. Fogarty, who's gone back wing back, co comes out with this ball. Gets it to his, to his other wing back. It's Michael Kelly. Kelly, Kelly off his right hand side, up along the side. 
and just the ball there's a chance here for Cyril Cunningham and the ball a uh, great defensive play by Dara Corkin and Dara breaks it down to Jack Kelleher Jack gets the ball up to Diamond O'Brien Diamond who's working very hard takes on Michael Kelly and gets around Michael Kelly Diamond O'Brien his man is a good up Thomas in the holder ball breaking out to Dennis Kennel and Brohan broke by Brohan ball breaks for Shawnee Casey and it's other cornerback Emmett Quinn Emmett comes to the corner clears it up along and the ball out, out around the half hour left half hour but that man O'Brien is on the, on the place again O'Brien and a free uh, high pull there by David Fogarty across the with O'Brien. And a free from Declan Teepee with 29 and a half, as Pedro said, coming up to the 30th minute to make a double scores here in Dr. Daly Park in Tulla. He's brought for 2-10, it's Tubber 1-5. He's coming for the, the hillside of the field again, also as Damien Quinn and Donlan. Ball broken down by Paul, Paul Maloney, Paul Maloney. Ball goes out towards Shawnee Casey. Shawnee, who's foraging out around the half forward line now. Great low ball in towards Danny Scanlon. And the Brawford supply has been good in towards Scanlon. Scanlon turns off his right hand side. But Paul Waters is there, has this one gathered. Clears it out on the safe side towards Cyril Cunningham. Cyril Cunningham and Derek Cochran run to the ball, but the ball wins the race. Ball went out over the sideline. They're about 60 yards out from the top of goal. Coming up to 13 and a half minutes. Coming in in, 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 in near injury time now. And Dara Cochran lines up this one. There won't be much more action left in the first half of this one. Dara cuts a great ball across the field, but he's cut out by Patrick O'Connor, the centre back. Patrick clears it up along the, on the far side of the field. Out towards Jack Dillon. Jack Dillon, good catch. Turns off his right and switches and turns in and delivers a quick ball in. O'Connor there, centre back again. O'Connor has played well in centre half back for Tupper here in the first half. But the ball breaks to his marker, Teefy. Teefy tries to ro roll it through, gets it, there's a muzzle there. And it comes out. And it's cleared out to Damien Quinn, and Damien will deliver quick, and here's a chance for Tubbo with the last ball. Broken up in towards the corner, David Conroy, and Conroy, Conroy and Paul O'Connell. And the ball comes out towards Eamon Taff. Eamon Taff being, being cleared by, chased by Kieran Cochran and robbed by Kieran Cochran, and it clears out to Donovan. Donovan, the fullback, comes out towards Derek Cochran and Cyril Cunningham. Cochran, playing well in the middle of the field, can carry that ball well up for Brawford. And he's robbed by Cunningham. Cunningham didn't go up the chase. Jack O'Brien foraging, working hard there. Or it comes there to the number 15 is that man Conroy who's working hard for, for, for Tubber. Clears out to Damien Quinn. Damien out on, on the right half forward. They're taking on his man. Gone round Mark Donovan. Damien Quinn, is he gone straight through? He loses the ball for Kieran Cochran. Oh, and a, lane, a pull across there by, Co by Damien Quinn. Not a whole lot in there, but Cochran, cute as he is, is playing the clock, trying to get it for a half time. As we come up now to 32 and a half minutes and we're nearly 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 at, at um, half time here. And the ball breaks out to Gerald O'Connor. Gerald O'Connor and a free a free for Gerald O'Connor and uh, just as he goes down, Wayne King, the referee blows for half time. The score here is double scores here in Dr. Daly Park in Tully. He's brought for two goals and ten points. It's Tubber one goal and five. And the ball the ball is thrown in, in the part it goes comes out here to to Jack O'Brien. Jack O'Brien wins the throw and up towards Shawnee Casey on the far side of the field. Shawnee takes on takes on Dermot Teff. The ball has gone he's been, been kept him kept him play there by Danny Scanlon and it's a 65, a 65 for Brawford at this and here comes Kieran. Strikes it off his left hand side. He strikes it and strikes it rather well, straight and through and straight over the bar. Great score there from, from the Evergreen Kieran Cockton. 2 11 for Brawford, 1 5 for Tubber. And Paul Waters, here comes Paul again, deliberate action as he waits for the, his player to move. And Paul strikes this one, strikes it rather well, over down to the far side of the field to Damien Quinn. Damien has been his go to man at left half forward. John Fall over there fighting for the ball as well, and Damien O'Brien fighting, fighting to the battle. Paul fighting hard for it. And the ball breaks to Cyril Cunningham. Cyril Cunningham, Cyril Cunningham gets away from his men, gets a lovely low ball in towards Fogarty. Fogarty, the corner forward. Fogarty takes on Jack Keller, gets around Jack Keller. And Fogarty, this man has played, been, been an unlucky there not to get a free. Jack Kelleher, lucky to get away there. He had, had, had held him. Ball comes out towards the wing, out towards the wing back, number nine. It's John, John Fall in the middle of the field. Fall coming, throws it through. Hits a good ball. Out to Cunningham. Cunningham strikes off his right hand side. Goes in. And it's gone to the left and it's gone wide. And the play now for, for a big reception afterwards. And the ball puck out. Good puck out by Willie Hayes. Out in the middle of the field. Out towards Dara Cochran and Cunningham. Cunningham blocks it down. Comes to Dara Cochran. Jack O'Brien foraging held, Johnny Casey, into John McNamara, John McNamara gets, uh, gets around him and Queen, and Mac is going straight through, and this, here he comes, he's gone straight through a shot, being blocked down, good block down by Jerry Rohan at full back there, and the ball comes out, and it's Paddy O'Connor, Paddy O'Connor the centre back, 
being robbed by Shawnee Casey. Shawnee Casey, Jeb being chased by Jeb Rohan. Shawnee goes on one hander right over here on the 21 yard line. And the ball breaks out and a free in given away there by, it was number seven, it actually was Michael Kelly who gave a free, gave away. Steady's up, he said he's himself now as he goes to take this on. This to put. Here he comes, up to strike this one now. And Dixon, strikes it. That's a lovely strike from Dixon TP. And I think this man is very sharp today in the score. 2 12 for Brawford, 1 5 for Tubber, coming up to three and a half minutes in the second half. And Paul Waters is definitely in more of a hurry in the second half with the puck outs. Paul stole, stole a couple of yards outside, Dick straight down, straight down the middle, down the top with Donahoe. And Cochran, Cochran playing well in the centre half back position. Up to Shawnee Casey, Shawnee Casey in the corner, down to Denny. Denny slips this time being with Jerry Rohan. Patrick O'Connor fighting hard for him, Patrick O'Connor trying to come out, being getting a high challenge there from, from, from Paul Maloney and a free out. Free out for Tubber to be taken by to be taken by the fullback Jer Brohan, the team captain. Jer Auburn, he's been out the field. It's Michael Kelly actually is going to take it. Michael comes into the middle and takes this one. Rafford forward, or Tubber forward's moving. Kelly drives it straight down the centre. Comes down the top, down top of Eamon Tap, and the ball breaks inside. And Donovan, Donovan reads the break and clears the ball up the field here to Paul, Paul Maloney. Paul Maloney takes on. But it's won by, by uh, Cunningham, out to Quinn, Quinn picks it up, out in the left half forward position, turns into his right hand side, hits it back towards Paul, drives the ball in towards, and it breaks up, but it's that man and Cochran and Cochran, what a game this man is having in the centre half back position, well opens up the play towards Emmett Quinn, Emmett Quinn playing well in cornerback for, for Tubber, hits the ball down trees, this comes out to number 17, Gerald O'Connor now playing in the middle of the field, Gerald has to turn, turn inside, hand pass the ball, gets it out to, to Quinn, and Quinn and another bad miss for, for, for Tubber, Heather. The puck out there from, from, from Willie Hayes, out towards the same side, the out to the hill, other side of the field, Jeremy Ryan, out to his brother Jack. Jack hits it with Jeremy Teff, but this man, Shiny Casey, a serious burst with Casey and Shiny Casey, right over under 21, hits it in towards Danny Scanlon, Danny Scanlon, Danny win, wins it, but he's robbed. By Michal Kelly, Michal Kelly drives up the field up here, out towards Jack Dillon, Jack Dillon and Sean Brosnan, Brosnan gets his hand on, wins up this one, Brosnan is blocked down, blocked down, in towards Dara Cochran, Dara Cochran working hard in the middle of the field, drives it on and Jack O'Brien, Jack won't miss it, Jack gets it and drives in towards the square, Jeff Rohan and Danny Scanlon and Rohan using his bit of experience there, turns in towards his goals and clears the ball, good clearance out. A great catch by, by Gerald O'Connor and this man has played well since he came in, a change, a change on the Tubber team. Eamon Taft gone centre forward. Donahue gone in full. And Donahue wins the first ball that comes in and takes and he's gone. He's gone in. Being chased by Owen Danlon, being fouled by Owen Danlon. And that move, uh, Pat McNamara, of putting Eamon Taft out and putting our Donahue in has proved dividends straight away. Eamon Taft takes the free and no, makes no mistake with it. Six and a half, he comes up to the seventh minute in the second half. It's 2 12 for Brawford, 1 6 for Tubber. And Tubber getting on to more position in the second half, but need to convert their, their position in, in, into score. Willie Hayes, Willie, throwing things down now around the goals. Here he comes. Surveying, surveying his option, being told by Wayne King, referee, good referee, good puck out of from Willie Hayes. Right down, right down the centre-far position. Patrick O'Connor goes up for Tubber, goes up and hands it, comes out with it. Ball gets stuck there, but won by Damon O'Brien. Damon O'Brien tries to move it out into space. But Jack O'Brien, this man having a good game in the middle of the field. Jack O'Brien, unlucky not to get a free there. Out to Declan Teefy. Teefy doesn't mess around with it. A good low high ball in towards Dennis Gellin and Brohan. Brohan breaks it down to Michal Kelly. And Michal Kelly has after the second half in good in, in, in good set. Out to Brosnan. But he comes out to Paul Maloney. Paul Maloney takes on takes on Brosnan. Gets clears up. And it's that man. And, and Michal Kelly. Michal. Son of the... Former Tubber manager Michal Kelly. Comes to Jack Dillon. Jack Dillon takes the challenge. Advantage played by uh, Wayne King. Ball across to, to Declan Teefee. Declan, Declan doesn't bother running for this one. Leaves it to O'Brien. O'Brien uses his face and cuts inside his men. And a shot from Liam Rafi, left hand side. And that man, this man is a very good hurler. Liam O'Brien, Rafi, left hand side and over the way. And Pether, he's having a major influence. Like we said in the first half, he's having a big influence in the second half also. Tony O'Brien are in as a half time at the beginning of the match said to be seven way points in it. He's on the button at the moment and the ball comes in and Kieran Cochran. Cochran is like any quarterback. He stands back in the pocket and opens up the play up to up to Paul Paul Maloney. Maloney, this man has 
gets around gets around Michal Kelly this time. Well, great block down by by Dermot Tap. Dermot Tap. Maloney wins it back again to Tifi, and Tifi, Tifi. This man has great hands and a great pass across to Shawnee Casey, and Shawnee Casey gets inside his man. He's an ball in towards John Mack, John Mack, in, and he's robbed by Dennis Scanlon. John, or Dennis Scanlon. Ball breaks out to Shawnee Casey. Shawnee takes up the bat, and Shawnee a crisp shot over the side over the bar and Bradford 2-14, Tubber one goal and six. Score is 2-14 for Bradford. Tubber one goal and six. Here comes Paul Waters. Paul. Hooks it out, right, drops it right in the middle of the field. And it comes to Gerald O'Connor. Ger Gerald O'Connor, a man who has played well enough since he came on. Ball out to, to, to Eamon Quinn. Eamon had a long way up from his ball breaks in into Teff and is cleared there by Paul O'Connell. Paul O'Connell out to Jack O'Brien. And Jack, as we said, Jack don't mess around with it, he just gets it and drives it. A real old style midfielder. Uh, ball broken out there by Paddy O'Connor. Lost there by Paddy O'Connor. And Danny, Danny out in the wing forward position. Danny turns off his right hand side. But hits it to the to the left hand side by Danny Scanlon's by Danny Can Danny Scanlon's Sanders a bad miss Danny who was uh, uh, by beaten Wolfhounds and now in the junior final and as as we speak uh, Eamon Taff picked up a yellow card for a late pull there the last time was Paul O'Connell came out to clear it the ball out or hooked out by wa by Waters won it outside by Declan Teefy out to it's won by Gerald O'Connor Gerald O'Connor out to Damien Quinn out to Eamon Eamon Quinn and Eamon Quinn who has played out played out the field and here it comes to Cochrane. And this man who has given great service to Brawford clears that ball out to Dame O'Brien. The two men who have a major influence in the game, um, uh, Cochran and O'Brien, clears the ball up to John Mack up in the corner. Right, being chased by John Fall. John Fall who's gone back and a great clearance from Fall from the corner back position. And again it's that man Cochran. And it's Lou Cochran who's a member of the Taylor Under 21 Management Committee. Clears that ball up to Paul O'Connell and Paul has a look and drives it in towards the square. This in towards Danny Scanlon and Brohan. Then he goes up high, but Brohan used the experience, breaks the ball. The goalie waters drops as it comes out. But it's that man Brohan who Brohan who has really come to terms with, with the task in hand in the full back line and comes out the field. Gets it to O'Connor. O'Connor drops it. But Brawford are chasing hard and O'Connor wins it back. Good play from the Out to Dunahoo. I don't know who's now out the field. Don't know has a look. A shot. And it's gone to the left and gone wide and had a missed chances again from Tubber. Now what he's like now with the Juno B, good to see him back then on, on, on the hull on the Holland field. The ball poked out by poked out by uh, Willie Hayes, came there to number to the sub for Aidan O'Brien, Aidan O'Brien who's on for Brawford. And a foul there by Derek Cochran on, on Michal Kelly. Aidan O'Brien who's on in the middle of the field. Ball shot free out to Dunno Ho. Dunno Ho missed one from similarly to that position. Hits a low a good ball, low ball in. Being dropped by Willie Hayes. And been Jack Neal and Jack Neal had a chance to make a great as, as name for himself at the very start the ball dropped by Willie Hayes and it just happened to fall to the wrong man if uh, someone else the chaffer was there maybe he just gets time to tune into the game Cochrane Cochrane who's having a big influence up the ball up to it and a push in the back there by Cyril Cunningham and Pat Mac a great chance for Tubber going to ride there definitely the ball John McNamara who's gone off the gone off the, the, the Bradford team and Aidan O'Brien is on. Declan Teefy gone to full forward and Danny Scanlon's on top of the lift. And the Bradford the Bradford the, the subs are coming for, coming on for uh, come on for Bradford with that experience and that to to, to to the team. Fifteen minutes gone, two fourteen for Bradford, one six for Tubbo. Kieran Cochran with the free in the left half back. Good low ball up along the wing up towards Danny Scanlon. Danny Danny wins it. And being chased by John Fall, we get the good flick off the hurley from Denny. Breaks to Paul O'Connell. Paul O'Connell going. Paul O'Connell searching through the uh, being blocked there by Brohan. And the ball works to Shawnee Casey. But that man, Brohan, has played, in fairness, he has played well at the, at the full back line for, for, for Tubber. And it comes out to Dermot Teff. Dermot Teff. Dermot Teff tries to get a sharp pass to, to Eamon, his cornerback colleague, Eamon, Eamon Quinn. And the ball has gone over on the sideline. And when King gives it, it puts, gives the line ball to the line ball for Tubber. The Queen was now off the field. Good ball up along, it breaks to, to Dunlin. Dunlin, a man who had a great, uh, who started to have a great first half, coming up along, clears the ball, great, clear, great relief and clearance, up to the same set, Teff and, uh, and Shawnee Casey. Aidan O'Brien looking for it, Aidan O'Brien looking for it there, Teefy looking for it, and the ball breaks out, it comes to that man, Teff, and the Tupper backs, the fair some, trying hard, ball breaks out to the Emerald Ryan, the Emerald Ryan who gets it left into his face in the middle of the field, the Emerald who comes, comes across, speeds across, speed ball across towards Danny Scanlon, and it's that man, Michal Kelly, Michal Kelly, clears it up along, up along the wing towards our Dunahoe, and Cochran, we got Cochran, you, he's turning back the clock here with a marvellous performance here. A clear line ball up along, up along the line towards Jack Dillon, gone out over the line, 50 yards out. 
but uh, Pella McMahon Tobo are going to have to cope the influence of Kieran Cochran for goals 20 yards in from the, from the hill sideline Eamon tries to this one drops it in and Eamon a bad strike by Eamon Sanders and head neck Tobo the ball breaks to Jack O'Brien, Jack, Jack half docked down there but Cyril Cunningham picks up the play in the middle of the field and Cyril goes direct, goes in towards, towards Nealon, Nealon tries to turn his man but it's at that corner back there is Paul O'Connell, Paul picked up, being blocked by Eamon Taft, being Eamon Taft trying to get up, being chased by Paul O'Connell out in the corner, Eamon sticks it out to Jack Nealon, Jack Nealon gets in his hand but he's after being robbed and the ball comes out to O'Brien and O'Brien, O'Brien is after having a great, he's having a great second half here. Ball up towards Shawnee Casey, Declan Teefee, Declan, Declan not turning as, as fast as of yore, but the ball comes to Declan, to Declan, Dermot Tapp out towards Quinn and the ball evades young Quinn, Eamon Quinn, have been many people's favourites for this, for this uh, Junior B Championship this year and in fairness to them, they're, they're coming up to their, 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 living up to that mental. Ball comes out to Dara Cochran, Dara Cochran, blocked down comes to, to Damien Quinn. Damien in fairness to me is working hard for, for, for Tubber but loses out to Owen Donnell and Donnell this man is after having a good game out to Shawnee Casey. Walker not to Lily Daly in the ball. Ball comes in by Shawnee Casey out to Danny Scanlon but ball comes out from the cornerback out to Dunahoe. Dunahoe now out around the middle of the field and gets a good ball in towards in towards Eamon Taft but it's, it's cleared out there by Donovan. Donovan the fullback and clears it well up along. Out as Aidan O'Brien goes up for Aidan O'Brien, Paul O'Connell but Michal Kelly, Michal Kelly who has had a good second half for Trubber. Ball gears it in towards Clare, but it comes out and don't match this man, Matt Donovan. Donovan clears a good low ball up to Damon O'Brien. Damon, good first touch. Damon leaves, evades his man and clears a good, uh, drives a good ball down towards Teefee. And Teefee gets the ball and Teefee turning. Uh, that's a great score from, from, from Declan Teefee. And Pat Mack that really summarises draw for direct game and straight over the bear. He's on there for draw for the wing back and Jack Dillon has gone off. And it comes to Edward being fucked out, being, bl being blocked by Matthew Troy. Matt Matthew, who was a member of the Clare 17 panel last year, that's the type of, of player that Brockford are bringing on. And a good ball in from, from Troy, tries to open up for Declan Teefee. Declan clears, gets the ball in across, and caught by Paul Waters. Paul being chased by Danny Scanlon, being chased by Danny Scanlon, who's out now chasing the cornerback, who's, in, who's in wearing number nine, but playing cornerback. And Danny just gives up the goals there. And Kelly, this man, Kelly, he gets on it. And he clears the ball up the up straight up the middle, up towards Droney. Droney breaks it through Jack Nealon. And if in fairness Aim and Taft, there was a push in the back there on Aim and Taft and he under with Killaloo, ball cut across there from, from Kitty and Droney and the ball breaks out now to Eamon Quinn, Eamon Quinn in fairness, one of the Tubber's be better players today, he's up in the left half forward position now, out to young, 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 young Droney, Kitty and Droney, Kitty and gets it up and it's a free in, uh, Wayne King who gave the advantage, his name is not, do, not down on, 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 the, on, on the official programme, the ball hit in by David Dunne, it's Damien Quinn who's gone off and the ball been cleared by Dunahoe and it comes out to that man O'Brien and O'Brien who has Covered every blade of grass here until the today. To Matthew try and Matthew, Matthew, lovely strike of a ball. Look, clear, clears it straight up the middle of Toshani Casey, being blocked by Pat O'Connor. But it comes to O'Brien and into Paul O'Connell and Paul O'Connell, uh, Paul Maloney, sorry, Paul turns and shoots off his right and he's gone, gone to the left and gone to the right hand side, sorry, and gone wide from, from Paul O'Connell. But as we come to 23 minutes gone here in the second half, I don't think there's any way back for Trouble now, as he says. It's 2.15 for Bradford, one goal and six for Trouble. Paul Waters, Paul, direct straight down the middle of the field, down on top of Jack O'Brien and, 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 and Gerald O'Connor, and the ball breaks, it is Jack, Jack, Jack Dillon, Jack blocked down by, there by, by O'Connor, or Dunahoe, and Jack O'Brien pulled hard there, and that man here he is, it's O'Cochran, sitting back in the pocket there and just reading the play and picking up, the ball goes off Danny Scanlon, gone out over the line, and Pat Max was only really good. The line ball over the wing forward position, be taken by Danny Scanlon, Danny Scanlon blocked, the, blocked to Paul Maloney, but it comes out and 
It's Jeb Rohan. Jeb Rohan with the full back. Oh, he's on the fall. John Fall comes out with it. Clears it up along on wing. Sub on for Brawford there. Paulie running on the corner back. And it's uh, Paul, Paul O'Connell is going off. Paul breaks out to Matthew Try. Matthew Try in the middle of the field. Matthew switched the ball, it, 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 the ball across to Danny Scanlon. It was met late there by Gerald Connor and Wayne King may have a look at that one again. Ball back to, to Owen Donnan in the wing back. Owen, Owen won't go short. Owen just like, sets and drives up the field up towards uh, Johnny Dermot O'Brien and clears out. It comes to, to Dermot Teff. Dermot Teff loses out to John Fall. John Fall breaks out to Jack Dillard. Here comes Jack. Jack up the field now. Jack lobs in the ball in towards Declan Wa uh, Paul Waters. Paul under no pressure as all the Rafa Fall fellas are out the field now. Paul comes to 21 and drives it up the field, straight down the centre, down the top of Kieran Cochran. Kieran being blocked down, but blocked there by David O'Donoghue. David comes out to Droney. Droney trying to get it through. And he comes, it's Derek, Derek Cochran. Derek switches off his left hand side and clears it out. And try it. Miss Man, who has come on to a good bit of ball, even though he's only after coming on. Advantage played by, by uh, Wayne King. Cleared up the field. Patrick O'Connor was up his hand for it. Comes out there. Ball out to Michal Kelly. Michal Kelly drives it. Michal drives down towards the square, towards Eamon Taff and Jack Nealon. They're all up for it. And the ball comes and it's this man, Donovan. Donovan, the full back, big man. Clears the ball out, out the wing towards Jack O'Brien. Jack O'Brien and, and O'Connor. Gerard O'Connor. This man has played, had a good second half for, for Tubber. Hits it in towards Droney. Droney takes on. He takes on Owen Donnellan. And Droney is going through with the ball. A shot. And it's over the bear. Yeah, Killian Droney in 2009. A man who was a, v a very good hurler, and we said out in, out in Toronto. Enjoyed the, in, enjoy the celebrations, boys. And the ball being poked out there by Willie Hayes. Willie clear, clears out the field. A sub on for Brawford there. It's Sean Dyle who's on for Brawford, and it's Johnny Casey. Johnny who gave a good hour there for Brawford has gone off. And a free in for Tubber. A pick, ball picked up off the ground there by it from a free in. A free in for Tubber. And it's that man, David O'Donnell, who's going to take it. David drives it in towards the goal ball and that's a bad poor strike by David O'Donoghue and up to 28 minutes now in the second half and a free in a free in given away there by by uh, looks like by Jack O'Brien the score 215 for Brawford 17 I don't know who drives it and drives it over the bell it's 215 for Brawford one goal and eight for Tubber in two right Willie Hayes with the puck out down the top of a sub for Brawford who's David Wixett who's come on David Wixett who's come on the wing far out to Declan Declan Teefy Declan wins the ball tries to get around Declan not moving as we said of you but the hens and, the, and everything and opens out the third to O'Brien. O'Brien is always available for, for every breaking ball. Damon O'Brien out in the, on the right half of position. And it's gone to the right and, and, and gone wide. But Damon won't be too worried about that one. A quick puck out there from, from Waters. Out to David O'Donoghue being hooked by a man by Jack O'Brien. Jack O'Brien who was after having a very good match for, 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 for Brawford here in the middle of the field. In, in fact, it's a real O'Brien connection there. The manager, Jesus, David O'Donoghue pulled up that one and blocked. Blocked by Jack O'Brien and the square much out here. Michal Kelly for the face step into number out to Sean Brosnan. Sean Brosnan out to Patrick O'Connor. Patrick O'Connor in. In it, ball breaks in inside, in behind the guy. And Willie Hayes, Willie Hayes rises it, catches it without even striking. Up the far side of the field to Owen Donlan. Being won by Owen Quinn, but Donlan gets onto the ball. Being chased by Droney, but Donlan has, uh, has had a very good match. Clears the ball up there. Danny Scanlon come out. Danny. Danny then he has got a good break, uses the ball out to Declan Teefee. Declan Teefee turns inside his men. And Declan, Declan going through. The man who works in the East Air, in the, in, in the East Air Golf Resort loses out this one to Jer Brohan. Jer Brohan, who can be very happy with his hours this day at fullback. Clears the ball up for Jack Dillon and the young lads for Brawford. And that's where the difference is today is the young lads are able to cover the ground and get away. Michal Kelly comes out there. He's, he's weak, the weak set gets, gets him set to win the challenge and comes out to Teff. Taff at cornerback, who has given a good honest hour, out to Jack O'Brien, can Jack finish with a score, and in fairness Jack O'Brien 
That's a great score, and in fairness to Jack O'Brien, for the hours holding he's put in, that's a great reward for, for his day, for his endeavour. Ball out towards Matthew Try. Matthew puts up the hand, being blocked down, wins the ball again. A great low ball up, up along the wing, up to Sean Dyle. Sean Dyle, Sean Dyle being robbed there by, by John Fall, another man who can be happy with his display for Tupper. Up the wing, and Dylan, Dylan, who has come on to a lot of ball. His father was a fair operator in his time, too, in the same position, and this lad looks like a carbon copy of him. Out to Tiffy, Tiffy being bottled up, being bottled up and wins the free and Declan, Declan, wasn't, Declan wasn't going to bother running too far anyway and he, he was cute enough, he paid for the free and he got it. Well a good night, a good night will be ahead, there's no doubt and here comes Tiffy striking off his right hand side and look at this man, it's like that, he just strikes it over the bar, it's 2.17 to one goal and eight, the puck out from Paul Waters, out to Cyril Cunningham, Cyril who has been quiet in the second half, clears up the wing and it clears and it's cleared out by Paul Gunning, out comes out to Sean Dyle, Sean Dyle who clears it out to Tiffy, Tiffy didn't even move and straight over the bar from Declan Tiffy, Brawford two goals in 18 points, Tubber one goal in 8 and Pedal Brawford have been put up big scores in the championship and another 218 is a very respected score again today. from Sean Dyle goes out to the right hand side despite best efforts of Danny Chaplin and the Paul, Paul Waters popped out this one out to John Fall John Fall John who he has he has yeah been, been one of the Tupper's most standing players comes out to, to to Griffey this man has done well enough since he came in this man has done well in the ball in towards Donovan Donovan the Kilkenny man at full back and I said look he plays the very same way heavy man and comes out with it out to Donlan and on Donlin gets here's the ball and there goes the final whistle here in Dr. Daly Park in Tulla and it's brought for two goals in 18 points, Tubber one goal in eight, Pat Mack were the winners. <laughs> for the use of the facilities here this evening. Again, in excellent order as always, so thanks very much to Tully G8 Club. I, I'd like to thank uh, the referee who done an excellent job with his officials. Again, as we all know, a tough job referee in a match, but he done an excellent job winning. So I'd like a big round of applause for the referee and his officials. Well done to Tubba, he put up a great performance. He won this Jonah Bay Championship a couple of years ago, back again in 2015. He can be proud of yourselves. He put up a great performance, fast out to the very end. Well done, Tubber, and a round of applause for Tubber. It's hard to believe that it's 20 years since Bradford won this, but I believe he won it in 95. So you're going on again to 2015. I wonder if it'll go another 20 years. I doubt it. I doubt it very much of the performance we saw from your minor team last Sunday. So all I'd say is, well done to Brad for the great achievement, the great win, and it gives me great pleasure to hand the trophy and with a shiny do the rest of the talk of the shiny. <laughs> Uh, 
Ja, ja, så om han kan så glæde. Ja, ja. I'd like to thank all the supporters for coming today. Anyway, wouldn't be here without you. Anyway, and um, great to be up here representing all the bunch of players. And um, three cheers, Tober. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Thank you.